Hello everyone, welcome back to TechTech.com. In this lecture, we will understand the basic concepts of relational calculus. Like relational algebra, relational calculus is also a query processing system, but it focuses more on what to retrieve rather than how to retrieve. So let's write it down. So it focuses on what to retrieve, not on how to retrieve. We don't bother about how it is going to be retrieved okay so therefore unlike relational algebra relational calculus is a non procedural language okay so it is a non procedural language here in relational calculus we express the query using the variable and the formula that is using the predicate logic so we express the query or what we call it as represent so we express the query query using using variable and the formula fine here one important point we have to notice is this relational calculus and relational algebra is basically having the same expressive power so there is nothing like relational algebra have more expressive power or it can represent some query which cannot be represented by relational calculus and vice versa so basically whatever we can write with the relational algebra all the re, uh, all the queries can also be written with the help of relational calculus so we will write that both have that is same expressive power expressive power as relational algebra okay so this relational calculus are of two types so what are the types they are basically called tuple calculus tuple calculus and another one is called domain calculus fine so we will start with tuple calculus in the next video so i hope you understand whatever we have studied in this chapter so we have studied that the relational calculus is one of the query processing system where we use variables and formulae this is basically a non procedural system and the expressive power is exactly equal to the relational algebra so i hope this is clear thanks for watching